So here the next problem on ML is for a random sample drawn <coughs> from normal distribution with parameters mu comma sigma square, you need to obtain maximum likelihood estimators for parameters mu comma sigma square. Here x1, x2, xn is a random sample from normal distribution with parameters n comma mu comma sigma square. So you need to find out the MLUs for mu as well as for sigma square. So if x follows n mu sigma square, what is its PDF? PDF of x is uh, 1 by sigma root 2 by e power minus 1 by 2 <coughs> x minus mu by sigma whole square. So what are the three major steps in finding the MLEs? L, log L. Here you will get two cases while doing for mu. Do log L. What are the three steps? L, log L, do log L by do mu is equal to 0 and as you need to find out for sigma square these two also. What are the three steps? L log L do log L by do mu or do log L by do sigma square 0. So how do you define L? fx1, fx2, so on fxn. So it is a lengthy one just concentrate 1 by sigma root 2 by e power minus 1 by 2 x means I said in the PDF only you replace x1 x1 minus v whole square into 1 by sigma root 2 by second PDF e power minus 1 by 2 x2 minus mu by sigma whole square so on 1 by sigma root 2 by e power minus 1 by 2 xn minus mu by sigma whole square so as here as likewise the previous problems all these are like terms 1 by sigma root 2 pi, 1 by sigma root 2 pi, 1 by sigma root 2 pi. We are multiplying that for n number of times which we can write as. Right? As we are multiplying 1 by sigma root 2 pi for n number of times, we can write that as 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power uh, whole power n. Here we have e power minus 1 by 2 into e power minus 1 by 2 x2 minus mu by sigma whole square e power minus 1 by 2 xn minus mu by sigma whole square so 1 by sigma root 2 pi whole power n as uh, the basis are equal you can add as you are uh, adding you can put the symbol like sigma 1 by 2 is common only thing here changing is the suffix of x remaining all are same so we can write that as xi minus mu by sigma whole square again I will repeat e power minus 1 by 2 this term term as you have the basis are equal you can add the powers while adding power we use the sigma symbol minus 1 by 2 sigma if you observe this the format of this term is same except uh, the suffix i is uh, uh, only the suffix of x is changing so you put i here and mu comma sigma remains same so we wrote log l what is the next step? You should write log L. Log L is equal to logarithm of the entire term, this term. So log A into log B, which is nothing but log AB. Log A plus log B. So if you observe this, uh, you can take this n here n log 1 by sigma root 2 pi if you take e power x you can write that as 1 by n sigma xi minus mu by sigma whole square log e to the base e which becomes 1 here so we got log l is equal to So we got log L is equal to n log 1 by sigma root 2 pi minus 1 by 2 sigma xi minus mu by sigma whole square. So what are the three steps? L log L. So we wrote log L. I think we can write this for the log A by B. n log 1 minus 
log sigma root 2 by minus 1 by 2 sigma xi minus mu by sigma whole square. So, we wrote uh, log L here. So, the question here is to find out MLE is for mu as well as MLE for sigma square. So, you are going to get two cases. In the first case, you are going to find out MLE of mu. In that case, you should differentiate dou log L by dou mu and equate it to 0 to find out the MLE. MLE of sigma square and dou log L by dou sigma square as 0. So, dou log L by dou mu, let us find out. This is log L, now let us name this as equation 1. Differentiating 1 with respect to mu. No mu here, for the entire term is going to be 0 in the second term. Uh, 1 by 2, this sigma square, uh, this square is for the numerator as well as for denominator. Take it out of the sigma square uh, into xi minus dou by, the first term is 0, dou by dou mu of this term. So, minus 1 by 2 sigma square, it is in the form of x square, 2 sigma xi minus mu into uh, mu derivative is minus 1. So, minus into minus becomes plus, these two will cancel. So, you will get 1 by sigma square sigma xi minus mu. As dou log L by dou mu is equal to 0, you will get 1 by sigma square. Which implies sigma xi minus mu is equal to 0. Sigma is for first term as well as for second term. You will get sigma xi minus n mu is equal to 0. So, mu will be 1 by n sigma xi. So, MLE for mu is nothing but 1 by n sigma xi. Okay. Let us do MLE of sigma square. What is L? How much you got log L? Log L you got as uh, n into minus n into log sigma root 2 pi minus 1 by 2 sigma xi minus mu by sigma whole square. So, you need to find out, uh, uh, again you can split this, minus log ab, log a plus log b, minus 1 by 2 sigma square, sigma xi minus mu whole square. So, here you need to find out dou log l by dou sigma square and equate it to 0 to find the MLE of sigma square. So, as you have sigma here and you need sigma square, let us uh, rewrite or adjust this in terms of sigma square. N log, can I write this as minus n uh, See here you have log sigma as you need to differentiate with respect to sigma square. I wrote here 1 by 2 and I raised the power to sigma square. So I can write sigma square means I can bring this 2 here, these 2 cancels again I will get log sigma. Here I have log sigma as I need the term sigma square as log a power x is x log a. If I get this 2 here, these 2 cancels again I will get the log sigma only. I repeat, I adjusted as I need to differentiate with respect to sigma square. So, the term is uh, minus n by 2 log sigma square minus 1 by 2 sigma square sigma xi minus mu whole square constant with respect to sigma square. So, you need to find out dou log l by dou sigma square minus n by 2. Don't treat uh, sigma square as a power. As Let us say sigma square is nothing but some other variable like log x log x derivative is 1 by x square sigma square derivative is 1 minus this is a constant minus 1 by 2 sigma xi minus mu whole square okay i'll do in the rough work see you have 1 by sigma square what is its derivative with respect to this is the variable you need to differentiate that with respect to sigma square so dou by dou sigma square if you take to the numerator, you will get sigma square whole power minus 1. Okay. So, minus 1 into 
सिग्मा स्क्वेर होल पावर माइनस वन माइनस वन एन इंटू एक्स पावर एन माइनस वन माइनस सिग्मा पावर स्क्वेर होल पावर माइनस टू माइनस वन बै सिग्मा पवर फोर इज द डेरीवेट ई रोट दिट द वर्क हियर ई रोट द टर्म डायरेक्टली सो हम मच यू गॉट डो लॉग एल बै डो सिग्मा स्क्वेर इज ईक्वल टू माइनस एन बै टू सिग्मा स्क्वेर माइनस वन बै टू सिग्मा पवर फोर So you need to equate this to zero. You'll get this as minus n by two sigma square plus one uh, by sigma x i minus mu whole square by sigma power four is equal to zero. From these two terms, you take out one uh, by two sigma square common. Okay, you'll get this as minus n. If you take out minus also common, you'll get n minus sigma x i minus mu whole square by sigma square is equal to zero. So if you take to the to the R H S, you'll get this as n minus sigma x i minus mu whole square by sigma square is equal to zero, which implies n is equal to or n sigma square. Minus sigma. If you take LCM, n sigma square minus sigma x i minus mu whole square is equal to zero. So sigma square will be. So the MLE for sigma square is this. Thank you.